So I'm just cutting off this piece. Thought I'd show you this piece I just cut off the bandsaw with a horizontal bandsaw. Um, we got uh, like 842 there, 841. Eight thirty eight. Pretty straight for a bandsaw. I'll take it. Okay, so um, my thought is I'm gonna get this up in frame. My thought is I'm gonna clean off where this hole was there. And then you can see I have the dial indicator. I just temporarily mounted it there for measuring purposes. Um, I'm going to do something with that bracket there, um, but uh, got that mounted. And what I'm thinking of is this has a through hole that's already counterboard, and that's about the distance I need. Actually, let me lower this down. I braced the uh, head all the way up just to see for measuring. Um, but what I'm looking at doing, and that's in the way now, my piece I made. Um, but this would get cut back here, and that would give me my offset for it to basically ride right about there. And that would be my contact point. Uh, that's going to uh, uh, contact the the uh, gauge. But what they'll be is a sliding rod that goes up and down to make the adjustment on on this bracket right here. So just to show you, it's it's going to be a similar setup. is the goal to what's on my mill right now. So it'll be very similar to this setup here, right here. Oop, get back. So it'd be the same thing where this, this can come up and down to uh, adjust the reading. And then once this is locked onto the head, this will come down and make the read. Rather than here where the head's actually moving, this rod will be moving with the head instead. So anyway, thought I'd give you a little shot of it, and I'll keep uh, working away at it here. Just in case you were wondering what I cut that piece out of, these are some aluminum blocks that I got the other day. Um, and uh, I've got quite a few of them. As I mentioned, I was going to use some of them for just uh, set-up blocks. They're not really true, but I can go ahead and clean them up and true them. But right now, I'm just using it... Uh, as you can see, I was working out another project, seeing if I could uh, salvage something out of this out of this aluminum. Anyway, thought I'd show that to you. Be back. Well, I just wanted to show you how good that idea worked. Did some good measuring and ding, goodbye. Start over. Well, here's the uh, indicator mount. Um, hope that's showing up. It doesn't look like it's showing up very good in the in the film or in the camera, I should say, but. Uh, I don't like drilling holes unless I really have to. So ended up basically, if you can see this side here, there's two mounting screws that are there buried in the paint. There you go. And so basically that's the two mounting holes that I used over here. I pulled out the stock screws and went in with a couple of uh, Allen head cap screws. So that's ready and I can go ahead and mount the indicator on it. And it's, it's rock solid. Okay, well, the indicator's mounted. Get some of that glare off of there. Um, so, turn on the machine just to see if there's any vibration on it. I, that might be an issue. Here we go. Well, 
no, no issue, no uh, vibration. So, didn't think there would be, but thought I would run it just to see. All right, be back with you here. Go back to trying to get a mount that fits now. Okay, plan B. Again, in these different parts that I picked up the other day. This one looks like it's just going to be perfect. I have a nice little arm, so I'm going to end up drilling this boss right there and cutting this piece, and I think it'll, it'll be just beautiful. So that's, uh, that's my plan right now. We'll see. Do some hacking on this piece and see what it looks like. Well, here's part number two and uh, messed up again that's where that one goes go at it again okay I calmed down I went back and got my part out of the garbage and what I did this was just a, a piece that I was using since it was already it looked like it was a good size I was going to cut this off here and lose the hole that would be my mounting piece but I ended up screwing up the hole uh, the, the uh, bore on it that's what uh, I goofed up. So anyway, I've got pieces of scrap aluminum. And uh, so I went ahead and sawed a piece out there. And so I'm going to go ahead and start making this piece, a similar piece to this. Uh, and uh, put on a light there. And uh, see if I can't, if the third time is a charm. That's where it's at right now. So it's secured here, bumped it up against, uh, I set this plate up that's got dowels, so you can just bump the dowels to put it in line. So it's uh, parallel there with the x-axis, uh, axis, and um, I'm going to go ahead and mill this, clean it up, and then uh, I'll cut this off and then clean up the other side. Okay, be back to you shortly. So just a quick shot, I got the 90 done. In the internal radius and now just squaring off the end there a little bit of chatter since that end isn't supported very well but uh, it's uh, squared up fine and now uh, cut the block uh, up here to uh, finish it off be back with you just a quick update with the uh, pins I could I just got done chamfering the other side and I can flip it over and uh, I'm still on one of the axes and then I can pick up the other dimension so it'll be easy to chamfer it's just a quick shot of uh, squaring up the end of it so it's ready to be pulled out and, and uh, get the hole drilled so I've got the part built uh, except for the hole for the rod um, and what I've done here is I've put an adjustable parallel uh, in place uh, off of that boss so that I have something there to get a straight alignment on. So that way I can go ahead and transfer punch the holes and then drill and tap that boss right there. Okay, I'm going to be back to you. And then the rod will end up being lined up with the dial indicator. Well... Here's a little video of the finished product. The mount's complete after a couple of tries. And the, of course, now the head, the head reads. Oh, got to go up, huh? So there's the head reading. And uh, I can make quick adjustments by moving the rod here up and down as I as I uh, adjust the head so it worked well I'm happy with it and uh, playing with it uh, I'm glad I put it on the the, the actual dial here um, which is uh, in uh, half thousands um, there's quite a bit of backlash so in playing it so this will allow me to uh, be to have much uh, finer adjustments Sorry for my stuttering here. It's uh, early in the morning and uh, still trying to wake up. Um, some of you might be wondering what the, this duct tape is uh, on here. Uh, as you can see on the grinding wheel, I put balance weights. And those balance weights uh, 
were thicker than I wanted to actually achieve my balance and it ended up pushing the the arbor against the the uh, dust guard so I had to shim out the dust guard and I just put the duct tape on for right now to uh, keep the grinding dust within the uh, guard uh, with the vacuum hose okay so um, real happy with the setup it worked out and uh, gonna have to give it uh, give it a try and see how it works out okay hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, be back with you guys soon thanks